Hey everyone, Cruising with JT here and today I'm beyond excited to share a full cruise ship tour of Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas, the world's largest and newest cruise ship. Are you ready? Here we go! Be sure to hit that like button everyone and if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel and also enable those notifications. This video is sponsored by MEI Travel. Feel free to reach out to me at cruisingwithjt at gmail.com and I'll get you connected to my travel agent at MEI Travel. She'll take great care of you and I'll also include that information in the description below. Thank you so much. First up before we visit the Aquadome is the brand new Aquadome Market. This is Royal Caribbean's first ever food hall experience where you get a couple of options to choose from. So let's go and check it out. So you can see the menu. There's five options here. You got creme de la crepe, so get your sweet and savory crepes. You have GNGR, which is like an Asian fusion type of experience. Then you have Max, which is mac and cheese, all sorts of options there. I'm definitely going to try the broccoli mac. Feta Mediterranean, which is your feta, you know, the gyros and all that yumminess there. I'm going to try the falafel. And of course, Toast Garden, your sandwiches and salads. So definitely come check out the Aquadome Market. Now let's go see more. Then. All right, starting off, we have creme de la crepe. Again, this is where you get your savory and sweet crepes. Bon appetit. Enjoy. Right here are the options. You got the classic salted caramel, hazelnut and bananas, and strawberry Nutella. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try this out. I know my family's going to love this place as well. It's really beautiful. Got plenty of seating here, which is nice. And as you walk down the food hall, you'll see there's more options, right? There is GNGR, which is right here. Again, this is like the Asian fusion experience here, right? Very nice. You got the sweet and sour soup, beef, peppers, everything. Then you have Max, which is your mac and cheese variety, which is really great. Now you got your pepperoni mac, pepperoni pizza mac, broccoli mac, chili mac, bacon mac. You got on and on, right? And then you have feta Mediterranean. This is where you get your, you can pick your proteins. I'm going to get the falafel for sure, right? But yeah, this is feta Mediterranean. And then you have toast and garden, which is the sandwiches and salad. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, so I'm super excited to experience this as well, guys. Look at that. I love it. And then over here, you see more options uh, to come and sit down, right? So it's a decent sized space. Uh, but the best part about it is the Aquadome Market, of course, leads you into the Aquadome. So we'll go check that in just a second here. All right, look at that. More seating here. You got some beverage options as well. And you know the perspective from this side. There it is, the Aquadome Market. And again, there's perfect day. I click OK, back in the background. All right, next up, we are going into the Aquadome. This is the brand new venue on board Icon of the Seas. A lot of you might be familiar with the Aqua Theater on Oasis class ships, but the Aqua Dome not only consists of the Aqua Theater, it also has a place to kind of hang out and relax as well, and it's absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and check it out. Again, this is, of course, where the amazing show Aqua Action takes place. Reservations are required, so one thing I recommend is when you board the ship, log on to your cruise planner, your Royal Caribbean app, and book those reservations for a time that suits your schedule. So let's go ahead and actually go to the right here. And you'll notice here that there's the Aqua Dome Market. There is a Royal Caribbean shop here as well. It's like a bling shop, <laughs> which is really nice. It's closed right now. Uh, but Aqua Dome Market is on the right. And as you can see here, just the perspective of this is, is, is absolutely iconic. Like, this is so cool. Look at this. I'm actually going to zoom out so you get a better perspective. Look at that. That is something else. Wow. All right, I'm going to zoom back in. All right, let's continue walking and show you what Aquadome is all about. Again, it's not just an aqua theater, right? This is your aqua theater, right? But on the other side of the aqua theater, in addition to the Aquadome market, which we just passed by and I've shared already, or will be sharing you have the rye and bean bar. Now, this is a special coffee cocktail uh, location, right? so you can enjoy this here as well. Um, there's an extra charge for this, right? So just something to keep in mind. It, I believe it is included in your drink package, right? So there's your coffee cocktails. Right? So again, if you like your coffee and espressos and Americanos, cappuccinos, lattes, mochas, this is where you want to come and hang out. Now, the Aquadome, 
again, this glass structure and dome is just so mind-blowing and so phenomenal. And the amount of effort and work it took to put this together is pretty crazy. Check out some of the videos I posted in the past. Even Royal Caribbean has them as well. <clears throat> but it's, it's something else, guys. So let's take a walk down to the Aquadome hangout area. This, well, it might kind of remind you of the, 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 the Solarium on other ships, except they don't have any pools here, right? So just look around at the decor, right? You got this. You got the nice seating area here. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, you do have the, the overlook, which I'll show you in just a second. Look at this. Imagine being here as you're sailing out to sea. I mean, you cannot beat this view. This is absolutely gorgeous. And here's, of course, the front of the ship. Pretty cool. And walk around here. See the, all the space and sitting areas. Again, this is all complimentary, right? There's no cost to this, right? And of course, the overlook, <clears throat> which is right here, right? This is called the overlook. What's really cool about the overlook in this area in, on the other side of the aqua theater is that they have a bar, of course, the overlook bar, right? They have more seats and more options for you to enjoy and relax and hang out, right? And one the perspective here. I just, you know, the lights aren't really blinking like that. It's just the camera. Right? And then here you got more options. Right? And of course, as you walk up the stairs, you're going to get even more. This is the pod that I was talking about, right? So you can get this pod and this pod up there as well. So, can I give you that perspective? See right here? Got a nice view here, which is really nice. And again, Got a nice seating area, very nice. And of course, you have another pod up there as well. Again, it's first come, first serve. So um, they are pretty popular, as you can imagine. But definitely check out these overlook pods, which is really cool. <clears throat> Continuing on, as we head this way, we're going to, this is the, again, the overlook continues. Got this awesome pod here. Another perspective of the Aquadome from this side. And you guys see those robots over there. Very, very expensive robots. <laughs> they do so much for this show. Uh, this is one of the, this is the, the most expensive venue on board the ship, as you can probably imagine. And, uh, and of course, right next to the Aquadome is Hooked, which I'll show here in just a second as well. So, um, which I'll be sharing a video of. So definitely check out for that. All right, guys. I'm going to give you one more look of the amazing Aquadome and its beauty. Again, this that that all you see in the ceiling. There's a waterfall that comes down, and the the acrobatic divers come down there, and it's just really phenomenal. It's something else. You gotta come see it. It's absolutely mind blowing. The amount of the things that they do here on board Icon of the Seas. Truly, truly talented folks. It's brilliant. It's iconic. I love it. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Appreciate your support. Thank you so much. As I mentioned, uh, there's also Hooked, which is located within the Aquadome. And you can see here there's a couple of options for hook if you like your seafood definitely want to come check it out now let me zoom in here actually you got your shrimp cocktails calamari oysters clam chowder other options as well not super veggie friendly so we don't all see it here hooked seafood but you can see here it's closed right now but um i can give you a glimpse of the inside at least Very nice. Definitely a lot of space to eat and enjoy a meal while enjoying ocean views. Pretty cool. There's hope. And now we are entering the largest buffet on board, Icon the Seas, which is the Windjammer Marketplace. Located on deck 15 aft. And of course, right when you walk in, very important. Folks will be telling you to washi washi, happy happy, smiley smiley. So Morning. 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 Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, lunch is already set up on this side, guys. Again, you have plenty of options here. It's not super packed right now because it is a port day. Uh, I want to give you a quick perspective of the view from the wind jammer. That's surf side down there. Pretty awesome. All right. All right, so check it out. So we got 
pizza and pasta. Again, lots of options available for your enjoyment. Hot dogs and burgers. Just gonna do a quick walk through here. Get your desserts. An international station here. I gotta be curious here if they have Indian food. Let's see. <laughs> Plenty of options. Again, it's open on both sides, which is pretty cool. Asian, very nice. International. Then you have fresh from the garden, which is like your salads. Then you have your baked goods. You got some vanilla sauce bread pudding right there. Give you another perspective. You got the market carvery is that as well. So you get your meat there. This is very nice. There's your soup island station right here. Very nice. Hello. Hello, welcome on. Thank you. And here's your uh, favorite station here. You got this is where the Indian food is looks like. We got some roti, got some chutney, some rice, some mushroom curry, which is nice, chicken curry. And here you have more uh, Asian options as well. We got some pad thai, which is vegetarian, I believe, and then bok choy, vegetables, pasta, baked goods. It's really amazing, right? And on this side, you have even more options, right? And this is where the gluten-free section is. Of course, you have your soda machines right there. You have the beverage package or soda package. You can get your drink on here. And of course, there's a bar within the Windjammer. I'm going to give a quick pan around. So you can see there's plenty of seating. And again, it does get busy here, especially for breakfast and lunch. Something to keep in mind. Uh, last night for dinner, it was very busy because it was the first night. People weren't trying to keep it casual, right? So it's just something to keep in mind. It does not get super busy during dinner just because everyone's at the dining room or especially restaurants. So, got the options here. Here's your walk station. I had an amazing walk from the chef last night. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Here. And then here you got, uh, looks like there's a team meeting happening here. But over here, you have like a food station and everything. This is pretty cool. All right, so let's walk around this way. Let's show you the other side of the wind jammer. Again, Foods on both sides are identical. They just want to make sure they can, you know, cater to the, to the amount of folks who might be coming in, right? So just something to keep in mind. You see, here's the walk around. Look at this melting ice cream. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Let me take a picture of this. And now we're going to the other side of the wind jammer. Again, this is uh, more seating available. Since it is lunch, they don't open this side of the buffet because it's, there's not as much demand. So lunch is open on that side, but you can come and sit on this side as well, right? So again. Identical all around. Hello. Again, more seating over there. There is no outdoor seating, uh, from my understanding and from what I see. I don't see any outdoor seats available. But uh, there you go. This is the wind jammer. So, and again, they have soda machines on this side as well. So, hi guys. Well, thank you again for watching the wind jammer buffet walkthrough. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you again very soon for more Icon of the Seas content. Thank you so much. Take care. Welcome to Central Park, onboard Icon of the Seas. This is on Deck 8 Midship. It's one of my most favorite places to hang out and relax, and they've definitely upgraded the Central Park compared to Oasis class ships, so let's go ahead and check it out. We'll go ahead and start to our left. You'll see an all brand new venue called Lose Jazz and Blues. And it's a great place to come and hang out, have some entertainment with a glass of wine and relaxation. So let's go ahead and uh, see if it's open. It is wonderful. So this is Lou's Jazz and Blues. I'm gonna come here and hang out. Got a piano there. Absolutely beautiful. Gotta watch my step here because it's slippery. <laughs> As we continue, outside of Lou's Jazz and Blues, you can see right there. I'm going to go back this way. Nice seating area, the colors at night, the lights turn on, and it's absolutely phenomenal. Like I, If you guys haven't already seen my night tour of Central Park, or it'll be coming, if you have, thank you so much for watching it. It's going to be pretty amazing. Then you have uh, some shops here as well. 
Within Central Park, Regalia, Tag here, between Cartier, Omega, and Hublot. <clears throat> and you got some awesome experiences here. And as we continue through Central Park, you'll notice like this, the colors are pretty amazing, right? Like they have these shutters that kind of line up and down the Central Park area. You can, can you hear some of the birds? Let me know if you guys can hear some of the birds. All right, let me get closer here. We got this cool lookout in here, which is really nice. And then you got bubbles. Now bubbles, actually, let's go here. It's closed right now, but it's basically a to-go like champagne spot, right? So uh, they have uh, champagne and I think the bellinis and some other cool stuff as well. So definitely come check out bubbles. It's a to-go champagne. I get a brand new venue within Central Park. It's closed right now. <clears throat> Bubbles. As we continue on, we're going to head to the Park Cafe, which again makes a return on Icon of the Seas as it was very, very popular for guests on board Oasis class ships. Let's go and check it out. Here we are. Park Cafe. Let me show you guys real quick from this side. Again, walk through this way. And then here is Park Cafe. Got plenty of outdoor seating as well. Like you saw some folks over there. And then, here we go. Open Sesame. <laughs> Hello, how are you guys? <clears throat> One thing I love about Park Cafe is the uh, soups and sandwiches and salads that they have. Uh, they have paninis. Um, so let's go and check it out. We'll start from here. We got sandwiches and paninis. You got some dessert options as well, which is absolutely delicious. See the options here. I'm definitely going to come and get a panini here for sure. And of course, you have indoor seating as well, right? That at least outdoors, which is really great. I think this park cafe is a little bit larger, but the same. It's overall the same layout, which is pretty nice. And of course, you have your Coke machine right there. You have a beverage machine right here. <clears throat> And of course, here's your other options as well. More kind of grab and go options, right? Quick bites to eat, get your, get your fruit cup as well. Sandwiches, cookies, of course, yummy, yummy. All right, that is the Park Cafe. Let's go ahead and continue, guys. And let's continue through Central Park. This is absolutely beautiful. This is uh, this, this white thing you see here, that's part of the pearl <laughs> in the Royal Promenade, which is pretty cool. And we'll see that later on as well. So if you guys haven't already seen that video, it's coming. Beautiful spot here. Walking through here. One thing I didn't notice about this Central Park compared to Oasis class ships is it doesn't wrap around. Like there's only one way to go each way. The other Central Park seemed like it was a little bit, maybe a little wider. And it actually has a kind of a round trip experience. Here's just kind of like one pathway to one end to the other. So here's Trellis Bar. Again, returns to Central Park makes its return here because it's a very popular venue. Now, one thing that's new about Central uh, Trellis Bar here in Central Park is that they do serve food options here too. I don't have the menu uh, at this time because it's closed, but they do offer light bites to eat here as well to enjoy with your beverage. And for the first time ever, Izumi has returned, but this time in Central Park. This is Izumi in the park, kind of like a sushi to go experience, right? So if you like your sushi to go, you can come here and get it. There's an extra charge for it. so. Hello, how are you? How are you? <laughs> Thank you. Just taking a quick look. Thank you so much. Izumi in the park here. And then as we walk forward, we're going to come across Izumi Hibachi, which is, of course, like a teppanyaki experience where the you know, chefs do that performance and stuff. Dinner and entertainment, right? It's really cool. And that is right here. Izumi Hibachi and Sushi. So I'm happy to say that we will be coming here for lunch one day. I'm super thrilled because I know my daughter will love this excitement and entertainment. It's going to be really awesome. Again, you got all the tables set up here. Hello. And it's going to be a fun experience. I can't wait. Have a good day. Thank you. And again, there's an extra cost for Izumi Hibachi and sushi as well. And last but not least, here on this, uh, right across Izumi Hibachi is Chops Grill, right? So this is the steakhouse for any steak lovers that are watching. This is where you want to come and check it out. I love that these doors open by themselves. I, I don't have to worry about touching handles and stuff, right? So it's pretty cool. Uh, this is where you can get your amazing steak and 
experiences here with the ambience and dinner uh, entertainment as well. So definitely come check out Pops Grill here in Central Park. So that that about, that about does it, guys. Like I said, you know, Central Park, it's uh, beautiful. It's uh, I personally think it's a little, maybe a little bit smaller. I don't know, I'd love to get your thoughts on it. Leave your thoughts in a comment below. C given that there's only one path through, uh, it seems a little bit smaller from a, from a width perspective because there's not a round trip path, right? But either way, it's still beautiful and I love it. And I, I know I for sure my wife and myself and my daughter are gonna be hanging out here quite a bit, taking a stroll through here. Right now we're docked, so there's no wind, but uh, you know, as we uh, are in the ocean and, you know, sailing, you know, on sea day, you'll feel a breeze in here. And let me tell you guys, this is one of my favorite things about Central Park. And I think I've said it before, too, but I'm just reiterating how, how special and magical it feels. There's nothing like walking through Central Park in the evening when the lights come on, you hear birds chirping, there's a light breeze. And you're heading to dinner or lunch or, yeah, I mean, well, dinner because it's nighttime. And uh, you've got the, you know, classical music playing, the guitarist. Uh, it, it's just... It's a very, very magical experience and feeling. So that's one thing I love about Central Park. And of course, the decor, the colors and everything is really phenomenal, right? Like, check this out. This is cool. Not really sure what this is supposed to be, but it's very cool. Very unique. I'm just giving you another perspective here. Again, those uh, rooms up there are the Central Park inward facing, you know, rooms, right? They're not balconies. They're just interior rooms. Actually, they are infinite balconies. Do you see that, that window right there? Uh, you see how it kind of slides down? So that is a Central Park infinite balcony room. And of course, this, this stair here, this door, that is, leads you downstairs to the uh, Pearl Cafe, which we'll, which we'll check out in just a bit as well. But again, the, uh, the way to get from one floor to another has really been uh, improved, I think, on this ship. Uh, you don't have to take elevators all the time. There's stairs within walking distance no matter where you are. So I think they just want to make sure that the ship is as accessible as possible, right, for your enjoyment. Because you guys, the ship is massive, and uh, we want to make sure that you're, you know, maximizing every second. <laughs> and of course, the the name here, Icon of the Seas, established in 2024, Central Park. This is a classic. So I'm gonna take a picture of this as well. But um, yeah, guys, like I said, this Central Park. Here, the birds chirping, absolutely beautiful. Hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Portion of uh, Icon of the Seas. And look at the greenery again. These are real trees and plants, guys. Remember, real trees and plants. Okay, everything is real. That arborists come on and do everything uh, before they got to the U.S. So it's absolutely phenomenal, absolutely beautiful. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. I appreciate your support. And until next time, this is Chris with JT. We'll see you real soon. Take care. All right, now we are going to one of the most highly anticipated neighborhoods for families, the brand new Surfside, a neighborhood dedicated for families. Let's check it out, guys. You're going to love it. There it is. Surfside neighborhood. This is where my family and I are staying on the inaugural cruise on board Icon of the Seas and can't wait to spend a lot of time here. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And of course, right when you walk in, you got this beautiful flamingo that's looking at you, or not looking at you, but you know, he's here. <laughs> you got the nice little, there you got the stairs. The colors in this neighborhood are really just, they just really pop. I love it, right? You got Surfside right there. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, this is a great place for families to hang out all day long right and i'll show you exactly what i mean by that as we uh explore this amazing neighborhood again this is one of eight neighborhoods on board icon of the seas so let's go ahead and start to the right here we're going to check out the arcade now the arcade is of course extra cost you simply swipe your sea pass to you know uh, enjoy and i think i don't know if this door i don't know if it's open or not i'm, I'm actually it is open okay there we go i always expect the doors to open because i haven't opened any doors <laughs> So here you go, guys. So you got uh, plenty of gaming options right here. Just game on. You got uh, these games here as well. Uh, kind of grabbing games. You got your air hockey tables here, which is pretty cool. And as you look around here, high score. Yes, good luck to you as you play these games. We got a pop a shot here. Nothing but net. Get your basketball skills on. Another hockey table right here. And then you're going to look at this, these like racing games, which is pretty cool, right? You got the you know, action, which is really nice. Split second. We got Super Mario Kart here. Oh, that looks awesome. Very cool. And then here you got more Papa Shots as well. You got the Arcade Classics. We got the Pop the Lock here. And of course, 
there's an arcade without any ski ball. And of course, this is called ice ball, but it's ski ball, right? It's pretty cool. Very nice. Uh, these do cost, let's see, I, I don't think it shows you how much they cost. Okay, so 100, 150, 150 uh, let's see, 150 most of them are $1.50. This is, doesn't say how much it is, but hey, look, you, you get your ducks, guys. Get your cruising ducks here. I bet someone went all around the ship, picked up all the ducks, and put them in here. <laughs> right? So $1.50 was some of those prices here. It doesn't say exactly how much these are, right? But, uh... I would say they're probably a $1.50, $2 range, if I had to guess, right? So that's something to keep in mind when you visit the arcade here on Surfside neighborhood on the beautiful Icon of the Seas. So yeah, that is the arcade. Here's the carousel on board Icon of the Seas within the Surfside neighborhood. This is awesome. Uh, there's no cost for this, but again, you and your kids will love this experience. Uh, this uh, carousel is slightly smaller than the one on Oasis, I can tell for sure. But it's still beautiful. They got the ocean, ocean, uh, you know, friends, which is really great. And of course, you have sprinkles right next to it. Hello, hello. So yeah, check it out, guys. This is pretty cool. Yeah, so this is the awesome carousel. It is open right now, looks like. It's just not being used. No one's going on it. But, uh, yeah, and of course you have sprinkles right there. Get your ice cream on, which is gonna be amazing. You got more, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Get your area for the kids. Actually, let me zoom out, it's probably better. There you go. Uh, another area for kids to play. Again, you don't see the kids here right now as much because everyone's probably off the ship at per Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Um, then you have Surfside Bites, which is open. This is, the, again, complimentary as well. You got some amazing bites to eat, chicken, hot dogs, burgers, pizza, fries. Sweet bites is something I want to try for sure. The cinnamon sugar churro, I'm gonna to have to get my hands on that here in a second after I'm done with the, this portion of the tour. But yeah, sort of side bites, guys. Like, this is gonna be amazing. And as we continue here, we got more seating areas. Here's Pier 7. This is an extra cost venue, but uh, you can see some of the options here. It's hard to see, but they range from about six to about twelve to sixteen dollars. And I think it's I think it's closed right now. But here's the main play area for the kids. Again, Splash Away Bay. This is where your little ones can come and have a great time, as you can see here. I know my daughter's gonna go crazy here because they got some slides here. And also it's covered right now, but you can see the pool for the uh, adults right back there while you're enjoying the beautiful view of the wake and over down there I'll actually walk over there because I gotta go to the Lemon Post is the baby pool right so let's go and check it out but yeah Pier 7 extra cost but still amazing options for your enjoyment and there's a carousel moving pretty cool all right let's check out the Lemon Post bar this is specifically designed for families right so it has drinks for adults and kids Right now, you can get you know virgin drinks and kid drinks anywhere really, but this is specifically designed for them, them in mind. Right, so let's go and see some of the options here. They're not open right now, but let me zoom in a little bit. All right, that's escape wrap, Sailor's Delight, Slice of Life, Shade Thrower, Shark Attack, and Kiki Passion. But again, get that a kid version, it's pretty awesome. And here we go. Here's the baby pool area. For your little ones to have fun and again we are docked at perfect day at coco k today it's a beautiful day it's very warm <laughs> but that's a beautiful like and there's that pool right that your adults can enjoy when it's open while the kids you know kids can have fun here adults can have fun there that's the way to do it so you guys that is the surfside neighborhood and again surfside uh, look at these look at the decor here pretty amazing that's actually the body of the flamingo which you'll see the eye as well which is awesome <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take another walk through here. Beautiful seating options here. Very nice. Again, I love the colors. Surfside is probably, well, it is definitely the most colorful neighborhood on board the ship. And again, that makes sense given it's, you know, tailored for families uh, so they can have an amazing time, right? So there you guys go. And check this out, guys. Look at the eyes of the flamingo. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> and with that, I'll leave you with the... One more look of the Surfside neighborhood. Again, a family, 
neighborhood dedicated to families, which is amazing. And I'm so glad that my family and I are staying here because we're going to love it for sure. All right. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. And until next time, this is Cruising with JT. Thank you so much. Hey everyone, thank you for watching part 2 of my full cruise ship tour on Icon of Seas. Hope you enjoyed part 1 as well. Part 3 and 4 are coming very, very soon. Stay tuned. And be sure to hit that like button everyone. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. And also enable those notifications. And a special shout out to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much for your additional support. If you'd like to become a Patreon or YouTube member, I'll include the links in the description below. It's basically a behind the scenes view of Cruising with JT and special access to various benefits and perks and inside information into my upcoming videos. So if you do decide to join, I truly appreciate your support.